So welcome back. And in the last video, we did uh, three types of fraction, which is proper, improper, and equivalent. And in this video, we will be continuing with the types of fraction, which is mixed fraction and like fractions. And let's dig in. Now you have something called mixed fraction. When a fraction is composed of a whole number and a fraction, so we know uh, whole numbers, real numbers. So if you see, we have not only a fraction, but we have a we have a whole we have a whole number. Okay. So before I can explain to you much about mixed fraction, let's go to the last one because last one is simple. When fractions have the same denominator, three by five, two by five. So the denominator of two fractions are the same. They're known as liked fraction. So if you see, let's go to our first one. Here, didn't, don't you remember I told, if you see all their denominators are same. So this is an example of liked fraction. Now let's go to what is a mixed fraction. Okay. So they gave the example of three, two by three. Okay. So three, two by three, let's represent it as a number line. So if you, if you like got this, very good. You've understood, understood the topic very well. But if you didn't get it, it's fine. It's fine. We will do it here together. So, oh, sorry. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so if, if you remember, I showed you, like, um, I showed you where it has 10 subdivision, it has four, it has three subdivision. So this one is a three subdivision scale. So first you have zero. So one, two, three, you have one. One, two, three, you have two. One, two, three, you have three. And same if you have here, you'll have four. Okay. So if you want to represent this portion, you represent it as three two by three let's see how okay so this we know is one by three two by three three by three three by three is also equal to one then you have four by three five by three six by three which is two so you have six by three i told you to split it six into one and three into, sorry, three into one and three into two, not six into one, three into two, equal. Is it equal to two? Yeah, two. Similarly, you get here as uh, seven by three, eight by three, nine by three. Nine also you can split it into three into three and three into one. Cut three, three, you get three by one, which is three. Then you get here 10 by 3 and 11 by 3. So I got here 11 by 3. But why are they representing here it as 3, 2 by 3? So I, I hope I can clear it. Okay. So we got 11 by 3. And we already know it's called 3, 2 by 3. So how do we get from this? to this let's see okay so this involves two steps okay so let me write this again three two by three so what you're going to do is remember denominator and the whole number first you multiply which is equal to three into three is it's nine. So then nine. Now you add what you get, the product you add it with two. So three into three is nine. Nine plus two is 11. So that will be your 
numerator and your denominator will be the same which is 11 by 3 is it 11 by 3 yes yeah, so 11 by 3 is equal to 3 3 2 by 3 so you can represent fraction also like this so let me give you another example now if i take 2 2 by 5. So as I told first, let's, uh, let me write it properly again. 2 by 5. So what do you do first? So first, denominator and whole number, you multiply. And then you add the product with the numerator. And denominator remains the same. So denominator is 5. So 5 into 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. If they give you a mixed fraction and tell you to do uh, write it as a improper fraction, you will get 12 by 5. So I have a question for you. Do you think a, a mixed fraction can be shown as a proper fraction? Well, it can't because I took two examples and both you saw the numerator is bigger. So when the numerator is larger than the denominator, we call them as improper fraction. So if you see in this slide, in this slide that's just clear. If you see 3 by 5 is an example of a proper fraction, 9 by 5 improper 2 9 by 5 can be represented as can be represented as 19 by 5 well that i did with my mental maths because i've done so many uh, questions on this and yeah so i would like you to write in your notebooks how you got 2 9 2 9 by 5 as 19 by 5 okay so before we can end this lesson I'll give you I'll give you three questions. You can try it by yourself. Okay. So your first question will be Okay. Your question number one will be to identify the numerator and the denominator. Your question number two will be to represent four by nine in a number line. Your question number three will be to convert two eleven by two as an improper fraction. And question number four. Write an equivalent fraction of 12 by 3. So I'm sorry I didn't write the question. I'll repeat it for you. Your first question will be to identify the numerator and denominator of this fraction. Your question two will be represent 4 by 9 in a number line. In a number line. And your question three will represent this mixed fraction as an improper fraction. And last question will be uh, write an equivalent fraction, uh, fraction of this particular fraction. So that's it. And um, next video, we will be doing comparing fractions and arranging them in ascending and descending order. And um, thank you for watching this video. Bye.